Welcome, let's take a look at our top story this hour. Months long anti government protests in Mali have culminated in a military coup by mutinous soldiers at the garrison city of Kati. Mali's President Ibrahim Keta, who is currently in military custody, resigned on state television a short while ago. He also announced the dissolution of Mali's parliament. Listen in. Si aujourd'hui, il a plu à certains éléments de nos forces armées de conclure que cela devait se terminer par leur intervention, ai-je réellement le choix de m'y soumettre Car je ne souhaite qu'aucun sang ne soit versé pour mon maintien aux affaires. Mali's leaders were arrested at gunpoint by the mutinous troops and whisked away to the garrison town of Kati. This is the same place where displeased Malian soldiers carried out a coup to defeat Touareg rebellion in 2012. In his televised address, Ibrahim Keita said that he did not want to see any bloodshed to keep him in power. He said that he had no choice now that the military had Malian. decided to intervene. The new military leaders have promised a peaceful transition leading to fresh democratic elections in Mali. This was the first official statement by the coup leaders since the hostile takeover. News of a mutiny started trickling in by Tuesday evening. It was reported that Malian soldiers had begun arresting senior military officers in Kati and witnesses reported the movement of armored tanks and military vehicles on the streets. Norwegian and French and Indian embassies in Bamako asked their residents to remain indoors to avoid any conflict. Reports indicate that 437 Indians reside in Mali and the Indian envoy to Mali has told Weon that all embassy staff have been sent home. Protesters and members of the opposition gathered at the Independence Day Square to celebrate in Bamako and they extended their support to the mutinying soldiers in Kati and cheered the soldiers who drove their convoy through the streets. The international community has condemned the coup in Mali. The West Africa bloc or the economic community of West African states has closed its borders with Mali and they are also planning to impose sanctions on the country. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres is calling for the immediate release of Mali's President and Prime Minister. The Security Council will convene later today behind closed doors to discuss the crisis. Both the African Union and the European Union have also condemned the coup attempt. We are on correspondent Phil Ihaze is live with us from Abuja for more on this story. Good evening to you. Thanks for being with us. Now, President Keita has stepped down. He's tendered his resignation following the mutiny yesterday, making a statement on state television that he didn't want blood to be spilled to keep him in power. Sorry, if you can take the question again. Sure. Phil, we know that uh, President Keita has stepped down. He has uh, tendered his resignation. Uh, following the mutiny yesterday and making a statement that he didn't want blood to be spilled to keep him in power. Yes, indeed, uh, he had to make that statement uh, saying that he didn't want uh, any form of bloodshed uh, to keep him in power uh, because, of course, he was under duress. Uh, from the uh, coup plotters, the some top-ranking uh, officials of the military at the garrison camp in uh, Kati, that's about uh, 15 kilometers from the capital, Bamako. So uh, he was detained before that time, and uh, you know the state television. Uh, where he gave a broadcast of his resignation at, uh, also was um, cleared. All the staff were asked to leave, and that's why uh, after a few hours from that uh, news of um, abducting 
and the president and the prime minister, he had to make that statement. But of course, we know that um, uh, he was forced to do that. And at the time, he's still detained by the, uh, you know, the cool plotters, the, the mutiny soldiers. Uh, and that's why international agencies like the ECOWAS, the UN, are calling for sanctions and trying to put pressure on the uh, mutiny soldiers to see if it was possible to upturn the course of events. But from the look of things and from history, we may not be seeing that because uh, the soldiers have said they are not holding on to power. They are actually ensuring that there's a transitional government which will eventually um, you know, oversee fresh elections and, of course, the emergence of a democratically elected leader. Right. And of course, we know, as you said, he was uh, under duress when he made that statement uh, on the state television. We know in the country, in Mali, the politicians, including Keta, have amassed huge amounts of wealth at the people's expense. And uh, there has been a lot of anger against him amidst uh, the people of his country for corruption um, and his attempt at suppressing dissent. Yes, indeed, it's been uh, months of calls uh, for, uh, you know, from the citizens. They're saying they're fed up with the kind of leadership they've seen. Uh, they've been alleging uh, quite a number of corruption cases, mismanagement of funds. We know that Mali is a landlocked nation in a West African uh, part of uh, West African in West Africa, and they're they are going through very tough times in terms of insecurity, uh, poverty, you know, most parts of the, the citizens. And uh, in spite of the fact that they are uh, abundantly blessed with uh, resources like gold, uh, and so the, the citizens have called, I mean, before his re-election, uh, in 2018, these tensions were not as tough as we as we're seeing. Mali was not as fluid as it is at the moment, you know. But after that election in 2018, uh, and then the parliamentary election again, which took place in March this year, I mean, it, it looked like their patience was stretched, and they took to the streets up till now that the military had to uh, step in to. Uh, you know, seize power from uh, the president in spite of all the calls from uh, the international agencies and mediation from ECOWAS. So uh, we've seen celebrations from a lot of uh, the citizens, the anti-government protesters on the streets, you know, congratulating the military, thanking them for helping them see this course through. Uh, we're just uh, monitoring events to know how all of this will unfold eventually. Taking this further, there has been uh celebrations on the streets but there has also been condemnation by the AU and the EU and others uh, within Africa there's also a fear of uh, this resignation now having a cascading effect on other leaders in the neighborhood Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, so that's the reason ECOWAS is not um, agreeing to this, um, uh, you know, unfolding event in Mali, uh, because you you know that um, ECOWAS is also made up of member countries in West Africa, leaders. In fact, uh, five leaders from West Africa, including Nigeria's president, uh, Muhammadu Buhari, visited Mali uh, just a few weeks ago to try to also, uh, you know, intensify efforts in ensuring peace and stability in the country. Because um, when we see this kind Kind of uh, incident in one country in West Africa, it might indeed have a ripple effect in other countries, and that's why the leaders are insisting that this should not hold sway. That the constitution of the country must be respected and followed uh, appropriately. Uh, the ECOWAS have also released a statement, and part of the, their conditions, apart from the sanctions and you know uh, banning of uh, trade with other member countries in West Africa, they are saying that they're going to be putting together a coalition of ECOWAS troops, which is made up of um, military from different uh, West African nations. Uh, now, how they're going to mobilize and when, uh, that is not yet clear. And of course, what the troops will be going into Mali to do, we're not clear yet. Mm -hmm. But of course, they've also said, ECOWAS has also said they will send an advanced uh, team of representatives of uh, the mediating team to try to also go to the country to uh, see how they can quickly ensure that either a transitional government is put in place to ensure the military does not hold power or uh, they can obtain events and return the ousted president, Ibrahim Babakar Keita. Right. Thank you very much for that report, Therefore.